Now, Allie, we saw the wind and the dry conditions there making it more difficult. Are we going to see any kind of the wind or dry conditions here? Well, Mallory, we actually see the complete opposite mm. of it. We get very wet conditions here in Maryland. What we could give to them, oh, we could give them a lot of things. But I will say multiple chances of rain are ahead as we get into the week. Temperatures are going to be toasty. It's just like summer back into the mid 80s. I will say this weekend looks drier, so maybe if you have any weekend plans, O's games are maybe even going to the beach. It looks pretty nice out there. 74 right now in the Inner Harbor, 76 in Annapolis, 73 out in Stevensville. I'm showing you this because it's almost midnight and we are almost still at nearly 80 degrees in Annapolis. That's pretty warm out there. Tomorrow we make a run almost into the mid to upper 80s. So keep in mind that humidity is going to stick around, but we do have some showers that continue to move through. Finally, Eastern Shore getting a nice little break. We had a shower move over Annapolis and portions of Anne Arundel County. Starting to lose a little bit of steam, but we likely will see it move over Kent Island pretty soon. And you can see why lots of moisture bubbling up out in the middle of the country, bringing showers, thunderstorms, and tornadoes. And even here out in the East Coast, we're seeing uh, pretty wet skies out there. But we did have a really nice couple of days, so you know, we do have to trade off every once in a while. But we do start off tomorrow morning almost near 70. Take a look, we almost get to 80 by lunchtime before the afternoon showers bubble on up. Actually, this latest model run shows less activity activity than earlier that we saw, so maybe a better chance actually to see more sunshine. I will say the more we get, the more hot and humid we will see. Tuesday definitely looks like that. We start off the day upper 60s and then the showers and thunderstorms bubble up. This one actually brings it a little bit closer into central Maryland, but still if we don't get any rain to cool us down, it is going to be toasty out there to say the least and even into the afternoon and evening. We still feel that humidity in the air. Rain chances though stay pretty elevated for your Monday. While that latest model run wasn't as impressive, I still think we get a good chance to see those showers and thunderstorms because we just get so hot and humid. We got to break that cap at some point. It's likely Tuesday into Wednesday where we see the next cold front move through Thursday. We could even see the potential for some stronger storms in there, but then we dry back out into the weekend. Temperatures also trending on the up and up. I mean, look, we are just sitting well into the 80s over the next couple of days, certainly feeling hot across the state of Maryland and you can see that on the seven day forecast. We have a better chance to see drier skies likely as we get closer to that weekend. We're back also into the low 80s as well, so we feel a bit milder out there as we get into next week.